everyone! This is Honeywell, and I'm playing Banished. This is episode 5 of The Perfect Town. And when we last left off, we were expanding our population as aggressively as possible within the confines of this marketplace. We also had a large stone budget that I said we were going to spend, and I've gone ahead and done that. We put in a chapel. a larger cemetery, picked out a spot for our first hospital, as well as a scenic spot that was out of the way for our town hall. We had a few traders and we picked up um, six chickens which have already expanded into nine but the biggest thing that we have ac accomplished was putting in this tunnel which cost a massive I believe 452 stone or something outrageous like that as you can see we punched through probably the widest part of this mountain we did that to gain access to these forests back here where we're going to be putting in more forest hubs. Forest hubs are great during the early game. It's only year 12 uh, when we still have a small population. But they're also they're great for the early game but you can keep them all the way up to the end game as long as you trade. The firewood, the venison, plus the food from the gatherer's hut. Um, I mean, they're comparable to just about any other food source in the game. So there's no reason to, to tear down your forests for farms. Unless that's what you want to do, of course. But my first large town um, was a constant a constant struggle with food and I remember putting crop fields on every nook and cranny of the map and that's something that I'm not interested in doing again so I really like I like having a variety of of buildings and using the trading docks to make up the difference for anything else how much does this work out to? I don't know. 234 maybe? Okay, we'll trade. And let's make sure that the food merchants always come with things that we want to buy, which are basically the uh, crops and orchards. Everything else will produce enough on our own. Potatoes, pumpkins, squash, walnuts, and wheat. And every visit, please. Okay. Let's get back to our forest up here. Now, because this is such a far distance, you know what? Let's raise our, far, our food a little bit too. Uh, because this is such a, a long distance between the town, it's going to take a long time to get this built up. So one of the things we're doing is putting a house back here to get a couple laborers or builders working back here. But we also um, this house will also give the other workers a place to warm up in the winter. And let's increase the speed a little bit so we have a chance of getting this built sometime this year. And since this is going to be its own 
kind of self-contained little community. It's going to need all the amenities that the other parts of the town will have. So we've already planned out for those. see what this trader wants. Okay, general goods. We will always trade for food. But I'm not interested in those orchard seeds right now, so they can go on their way. See if we can eventually get this figured out here. Why this is so complicated, I do not know. I think I've already told you that I, I have a, uh, before I start recording, I have all of this kind of worked out how I want it to, to be. I look at a, I look at a map that I had already uh, built up before I start and I try and recreate that. And it looks like our hospital got built. And they're finally bringing some stone over to to the town hall there, which is good. And 
in case you missed the the first couple of episodes, our forest hubs will always have a a forester's lodge, a hunting cabin, a gatherer's a gatherer's hut, as well as a stockpile and barn, and at least six houses. Uh, no, thank you. The quantities are going to be so small this early in the game that it's not even going to matter, but we'll try and order some, some stone and see what we get. Thank you. Increase the priority on those again. Maybe we'll get lucky and someone will come and do something. So we have our foresters in, and now we need a stockpile. We're putting in a, a massive uh, 10 by 10 stockpile back here because Because we already have two forest hubs um, up front here, where the majority of the town is going to come, the traders are going to come and take um, everything from these stockpiles first. So if we have a larger, uh, larger stockpile, they're not going to run out of room, and and I can put two woodcutters if need be on this one stockpile. Okay, as always, want a schoolhouse and an herbalist. Another house, so we don't need that up. A little bit of rain as if it wasn't already hard enough to see as it is. And we're going to leave this group of houses unpaused in the hopes that they'll eventually get built and we'll have some workers back here to speed up the process. And just in case nobody heard, we want this done first, so we'll increase the priority on that. Um, let's see what else. We need our storage barn.
to our hunter's cabin, which we'll pause. Gatherer's hut. Our woodcutter. Let's go see what they have. Uh, logs. How exciting. Not. But we'll buy them. Okay, and and of course I'm gonna want a marketplace back here. Uh, centrally located. You can see in the market's radius all of these houses fit. Uh, portion of that house up there and then we'll also have a another forest foresters, foresters hub down in this location where we can put some houses here and then we'll have a third forest right up here and again the houses will fit nicely we still don't have any bridges to this side of the river though so we're gonna have to go ahead and pause that But I am going to uh, squeeze in some stockpiles over here because we will be collecting all of this uh, stone and iron. And as soon as we have some bridges, we'll queue that up. really failing at this here. I think I'm trying to make them too big. Okay, that's better. Yes, I know the stone is low. That's what, probably why nothing's getting built uh, all back here. Let's gather all the stone. In increase priority on this whole area. Maybe that'll get us somewhere. Let's collect the iron as well. You know what, let's pick this up to 10 times speed so it has a chance of getting built sometime this year. And we'll start putting in some more houses up front as soon as, uh, as, soon as we get that initial settlement taken care of back there. We'll come back up here and see what we have going on. But really this is dependent on the trades that we get. We're putting a small um, group of crop fields up here and we have a small 
Well, not small. Well, a small group of houses to go with these. Okay, get those paused. And let's see what the merchant has. Ah, sheep. Sheep are good. We like sheep. I'm going to go ahead and buy all of these. Which is, what, 900, I think? Okay, very good. Thank you. And let's go put in some sheep. Very nice. And it looks like we're finally getting something built back here, which is good. Hopefully not too fast. Okay, that's good. Everyone is uh, an appropriate age. Good, good. Another house. Excellent. Once people start living back here, this should go a lot faster. And now that we have the bridge over to this side of the river, uh, there's no reason not to start collecting all of this ore. Good, good. Maybe we need a couple more gatherers. Our food is, is pretty well, no, it's probably just about spot on. It seems low. But there's probably enough food there to feed everybody for a year, so I guess it's not that bad. And actually, we can start building a marketplace, too. Let's do a quick housing check to see what's going on here. Yeah, we have... Uh, there's some old people, so... I think we're going to be experiencing the rest of the initial die-off pretty soon here. You can kind of tell the age of the neighborhood by the, the number of students. So this only has three, but yet this schoolhouse has 11, so... And food, we always like food. Thank you. We will take it. We're finally making some progress back here. One of the, the things that I've noticed, um, I believe in a, the last episode we talked a little bit about uh, Marches of Death. Well, when they changed that, they changed the way um, workers queue up to get, to get projects done as well. It used to be that um, whichever order you 
kind of put something down. That was the order that they completed the tasks. But now uh, your citizens kind of take into consideration how far away the job is and they'll prioritize um, work that's closer to them. And that was again to avoid the the starvation the starvation and uh, freezing deaths that were happening. I guess we could uh, pause some things down here. We're not ready for this section yet though. As you can see, they've uh, I've just put this stuff down and they've already rushed over to uh, start filling things up. Because it's close to home. Yes, the reserve of everything is low. Okay, great. A couple more houses built back there. Which is good news. Storage barn. Let's go take a look. Stone, yeah. Such minute amounts it doesn't even. And actually we're going to, uh, to pause this. Let's finish the trader here. How much is that in firewood? I don't know, 135 by 12, 132. I feel like I need to go back to school to learn my uh, times tables. Okay, and let's uh, see if we can get appropriate couples in here. Looks like we built these too fast and we're splitting up families, which I don't want to do. So let's see if we can uh, get these rehoused with, with young new couples. And no. Oh wait. Okay, there's a couple. Let's try this one. That is good, and that is good. Let's get an herbalist. And I think we can unpause all of these buildings now. I'm a little disappointed that we haven't received any, uh, any seeds that I want to grow yet. You would think with uh, two... Let's unpause that house too. See if there's some people ready for that. You would think that with uh, true trading docks I'd have better luck, but no. It's really not worth putting in the other trading docks right now either though, I don't think. Just because the goods that we're, we're getting, like, you see, we put in a special order for stone and we get, like, 66. It's, like, almost not even worthwhile. So until they start bringing larger quantities, I'm happy with the two that we have. Okay, schoolhouse. And they have seeds. I just don't want any of them. We will take your food though. What is that? Four. 
and your coal. Why don't we have coats? I'm gonna have to go see what I did to them to make that happen. And 600 is what? 150, I think. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's good. They don't have the... Uh, because I'm making warm coats. Uh, well, they just picked up some... Uh, You know, I don't even feel like messing around with that. I'm just going to let them be out of coats for a while, I guess. Yes, the reserve of iron is low. Everything is low. Okay, it looks like uh, this is just about done. We have the forester. Our hunters are up. Let's, uh, let's increase our hunters. See what this trader has. Pepper seeds. No, thank you. I don't want them. I know I can order seeds, but there's something about paying more that, uh, <laughs> that I don't like. So uh, I'm... It's only year 16. I am perfectly content to wait a bit and see uh, and see if we don't get some trades, more advanced trades soon. And woodcutter, hunting cabin, gatherer's hut, we'll leave them at that. Forester's lodge, up those four. Okay, and I think this might be a good a good place to uh, to call it a day here. And when we come back, lower the speed again, and when we come back we'll continue to uh, to trade for livestock any chance that we get, looking for the seeds that we want for our farms over here. And so we'll fill in some of these houses as we have the population. But our new Farster hub is up and running it looks like so uh so all in all I think it was a good a good day's worth of work. Okay thanks for watching and we'll return with episode six.